It's a wonderful morning the Lord has brought unto us today to rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning and win forever. Thank you so much. My name is Timothy Profitable and this is your favorite channel, Levoy. I come to you in the name of the Lord and I believe you are fine wherever you are today. I believe God has endued you with peace and love. I welcome you back to this channel in a very big bang. <laughs> B-A-N-G. So I think uh, uh, as much as we are concerned, we know about this channel. We handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters. We discuss them here. Even though we have never done that in depth, but I do believe God has stationed this channel for such a purpose as for this moment. To do commentaries on matters that pertain spirituality, economic, and social matters. And that's why. And God led us to be doing a lot more than just that. And uh, today, I will really be honest to you. I'm going to discuss your comments. The comments you wrote for me and you wrote on our wall. The other video, the two episode videos that we did last. The first one, uh, the TBJ Disciples Marriage. And uh, another episode that could come there about rejection and how this happened. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to read these comments today. Don't go away. Stay tuned as we come closer to what we know. God is teaching to us. We are reading your comments. So if you are somewhere, get ready with your pen and your paper. Also write or text another comment down here. What do you say about? these comments that we have here. I want us to have an interactive program. We were supposed to be live, but we are trying to test this one. If it works well, we are going to be live occasionally, a lot more frequent times. So stay tuned. As I wait for you to be ready, just welcome. Don't go away. Talk to your neighbor. Forward this link to everybody you know. And subscribe before we continue. Like and give us a prelude comment. And as we continue, we will keep commenting. And God bless you. Welcome back. Welcome back again. Now I'm going to read you these comments. So it is your comment. I want you to take note of that. These are your comments and not my observation is a comment. I know this channel, we have a lot of people with spiritual eyes, a lot of mature men and women of God. So I'm always very considerate of that when I keep talking. Now, the video that was uh, former TBK disciples, did their marriages change their calling? That is the video. And now I got comments, quite a number of them. So I'll start writing, uh, giving you the comments, and you will always interact with the comment I read. So I have one comment. I don't know whether I should read the names of the commenters, but I would really uh, would not like reading the names because uh, you may read one name and you forget to read another one, or you may call one name and then you don't call another one. Some people may not feel good, but we... we, we, we we love each other in this channel. We are brothers. So, Irene Mwansa, I have always been praying for Mama and Evangelist. God bless you so much. So, if you want to confirm these comments, they are still there. So, go back there. So, get interactive with the comments. So, Irene Mwansa writes another message. There is nothing wrong in them living, of which that's very important. But the way you live matters. Christians need to be grateful and teach the world how you leave someone's home after they've done so much for you. I think that's a very good point. Very good point. And now I have Portia Hill. Portia Hill has been one of our subscribers, very consistent, and writes two comments. One comment is say. Where is Prophetess Angela? Now, all of you who know <laughs> Prophetess
prophet as Angela go to the comment section. We want to do the interaction and find out. So because I'll be doing some episode that pinpoint one comment after another. And then she comes back again shortly after and says, Hallelujah, hallelujah, prophet, you said it all. I believe by the grace of the channel, we can speak and see uh, how God works out. Go to the comment section, talk to us. Now, number two, and uh, in the part of, let's say, second session of this comment, they left the church, that is Atin Nyako. This is a Kenyan name so far. I don't know exactly if this is her name, but I believe this is a, a pseudonym. Atin Nyako is a, a, in fact, this name comes from our tribe. It's not necessary I say it, but I'll just say it for the sake of, <laughs> this is a social matter. Uh, so we can see. Atin Nyako means um, a small lady, a small lady. So they left the church. They created own ministries. They got married and some had children. In my analysis, seems to be that they secretly envied the prophet's gift. So the low key wanted his fame and hoped they would be like him and then it backfired on some of them. Anyway, we forgive, forget and move on. God bless Con forever. We are doing better than ever. And that this part of forgiveness, I think, is one of the best parts so far that she has talked about. And we have Daisy Langat. These are Kenyans now. We have Daisy Langat. Oh, I'm so happy that the Holy Spirit is on duty at Skwan. The grace upon that altar is increasing by day. Last Sunday was very powerful. I just see the Lord in Mama Pastor Evelyn Joshua. And if you remember what Evangelist Annette said, when she last preached, she said, they asked Prophet E.B. Joshua on several occasions to name the man that would take over from him. He answered them and said, who said it's a man? What if it's a woman? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, I'm reading the comment still. This is now Desi Langat doing the comment. And uh, Wamusi, Wamusi Chike. Now, rise another comment. For me, to each his own, but scorn remains great from above. God knows each intended of heart. If I say I love Ibi Joshua and his wife, my attitude speaks opposite. Now, that's also... Wamusi Chike. Now, talking. Because we are reading all the comments and some few comments, we will proceed another. And uh, this one is uh, also, we will never miss one person to speak the other way around. So, this is one of them. <laughs> yeah, this is one of them. Now, I have also another episode I did how I encountered Ibi Joshua in Mama Evelyn Joshua in Kenya. Now, we also have our God is righteousness. That's the name of the commenter. We appreciate you, man of God, for the updates of which that's what we'll be doing. Then I have also from another episode, very right, watch and pray as our saint told us. Watch and pray. You remember, we did a lot of videos that pertain this episode, watch and pray. And uh, it was wonderful. As much as it is. Now I'm glad you saw it coming. Our father in the Lord said before the departure. Of course. That is Karua Kangoto. I think this is a Kenyan also. Is a name in our communities. Up in the northern parts of Kenya. And uh, we appreciate all of them. Mama Martin. Writes and say. No haters please. Love everyone and love God too. And this is what we've been talking about in this channel for all the round. If you've been very consistent, you will know what I'm talking about is the truth. That we've been talking and campaigning about reconciliation. The, 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 the former disciples of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Let me talk about just disciples of the uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua that previously left Squan. We had been talking about this and talked and talked and talked about how
how they should humble themselves and can find a way of doing the reconciliation. It is a very, very ideal thing for them to do because it will free their, their life into another perspective. Not knowing that forgiveness is one of the divine factors of life in any factor, not just in Squan, in any place, in any office, in any family, or in any organization. Meeting forgiveness and giving forgiveness is divine. Now, you saw somebody also, the entire scenario that played out revealed a lot for me. It was obvious that the passing of our beloved mentor, T.B. Joshua, was a relief to some of his disciples. Now, the question goes, this is comments, if he was alive today, where would they be? Would they be still married? It tells they lived a very pretentious life while at the school. What you see today is their true self. How is the passing of our father connected to their marriages? In this regard, please count Inca out of this. Let no one lie to us that it was God's plan. It was blatant falsehood. These people were just like us who are battling physical or carnal desires. This uh, comment uh, really hits a lot. And uh, if, if you are somewhere and you hear this, go to the comment section and read them again in this episode that passed by. Just take your time, read these comments and digest them properly. So sometimes you can read and see the response. And also, I see people like it. This People, like five people, liked this comment, and uh, two of them commented again on this. Somebody answers. And uh, these kind of comments also, while I read them, I really get a lot of things to see, a lot of things to look at. Now, another comment. I'm not against what you say, but they are old enough. And I think it is time for them to have their wives or husbands. We need to support them in prayer. That's all. Now, this is Fezama, that Sarah, that commented this. And I think the age factor also can play in this issue. And uh, someone goes, go, go to the comment section and talk to me. Talk to me. How does age come in as part of this? Uh, do you see age also being a factor? A factor in this. They are old enough and I think it's time. This is how the commenter wrote it down. And uh, uh, there's a point there to take. I want you to go to the comment section and deal with this uh, point properly. What you capture and what you see, let's talk about it and find God in it. Where is Prophetess Angela? This is now the second question. This is Shimfuemfue Kata. We haven't heard from her ever since. I think we need to find where uh, Prophetess Angela is and if possible to talk and interrogate her. Uh, someone, I think we need to do this and uh, I'll try to find how we can reach her online and uh, find some uh, questions if she will be willing because the fact that she's hiding also or staying somewhere is also a factor to consider that she wanted to be in low profile, not really be on public. So that can also be a hindrance. Now, I take another comment. Spiritual gifts are different. Leave them alone and look on our spiritual lives. Leave them, please. This is Tembaka Ziolisa that's talking about let's leave them alone. And then we talk of Atha Oswine. Uh, these are one of the most uh, Thank you, sir. Welcome, Arthur. Arthur, thank you so much for coming back. You've been away for quite a good time. Uh, not mentioning our channel has been not quite. So let me read Arthur's comment. The expectations and plan individuals had when leaving the school to establish their own ministries have not materialized as they had hoped. As a result, there are changes in some people Others have territorial marriages in the sense that 
when they move to another continent, the terms of marriage changes, so does their calling. I think he's talking about Prophet Racine in this matter. Kudos to all the ex quan alumni that have stood true and authentic to their calling. John Chi, Daniel, Christopher Oji, Harry, ETC. I think he's mentioning the, the previous generation before this last previous generation of sons and daughters of Prophet T.B. Joshua. And uh, you can see the previous generation of uh, wise men. Wise men John Chi, wise men Daniel, wise men Christopher Uji, wise men Harry. And I think there are also other evangelists that also stood by there. We can see evangelist Justin. We can see roadmap ministry as well. We can talk about Pastor Tommy. We can talk about uh, Apostle Gabriel. We can talk about so many of them. Uh, the fact that I didn't mention the name does not mean you don't exist. It's just what comes, uh, what comes first in my mouth. And then we have also another man that had been consistent. Ruhail, Ruhail, Fik Ruhail, welcome our blogger. Now, that's me he's addressing. I agree, it defies logical reasoning why one would someone's why would someone spend nearly two decades pursuing a career in neurosurgery only to ultimately find themselves working as a receptionist in a hospital implying that God gave instructions how my observation the people that left the squad before the departure are very much better in every sense and now he is also making the same reference of the previous generation of the wise men, that they left better in every sense. And then this other one. So whoever is talking about here that uh, he gave uh, uh, like a parable, you know, Prophet T.B. Joshua also loved parables, right? And uh, he is talking about, real is talking about people going into a training and paying the price of the training like, let me say, for example, a neurosurgeon goes to training for years, finishes the training. In fact, they take longer period for training. And then after finishing the training, then they find themselves working under in a lower positioning in the realms of the same training. Now, this is a kind of thing he's talking about that the, some de disciples were trained, really trained, and after being trained, they left the training level, they were put on, and now stooped lower and uh, took some other interest. I think this is what Ruhel is talking about. And now we go to another comment. Evanda Nolan. Uh, Evanda, thank you so much for coming back. God bless you so much. Evanda is one of our very long time subscribers and uh, member of the channel that has been working a lot. I have a lot of information from him. We got a lot of sense and a lot of wisdom from him in many comments. Indeed, that's Evander now talking. Indeed, it is accurate that their initial vocation have shifted along with their partners and change in location, which is remarkable. Only their actions were predetermined by a divine plan which should complement and not contradict. Anyway, we at SCORN are extremely happy. How many of you, by giving a thumbs up, are extremely thankful to God that Mommy Evelyn Joshua took over the responsibility after our beloved memory TB Joshua? He makes it a question. So how many of you put a thumbs up like this? That means right now, Go there. If you have not liked that video or this one particular episode, go and like it and then send a comment. That's what Evanda is talking about right now. <laughs> we are brothers. Let's support this channel by doing a thumb in that click. Like this channel. Like the episode and then comment then share with your friend. Did you see the mantle is growing every day? Now, that's how Evanda continues with the same comment. Did you see the mantle is growing every day? Did you see the power in scorn that a lady coughed out a chain during deliverance? What else do we need to see? 
God is in scorn. God is with Mommy Evelyn Joshua and Evangelist. We warmly welcome you, our brother Timothy. Thank you so much, uh, Evander. Thank you so much. The, the, this kind of comments are the ones that give us encouragement. If you don't know, those people who think, oh, why is he not coming back? Some of the reasons why we come back are the comments you bring to us and you write to us because we know now we are talking not just to ourselves or our own opinion. We are in ministry. This is not just blogging. We are in ministry. And Marie for Peace, thank you so much, woman of God. Marie for Peace is in the UK. And uh, she has a channel here. And you can also see a lot more of her channel activities that takes place in different platforms. We talked to them, but they didn't want to hear. But our mama, they, they challenged is moving forward by God's grace. Hey, that's Mama Marie for Peace is now commented there. She has done quite a number of episodes about the same matter. So you can go to her channel, Marie for Peace, and subscribe to that channel and watch more videos as much as you can. Sarah Grace also comes by and say hi. But I disagree for Prophet Chris. He is still like the same way he started. Prophet Chris. Now, with Prophet Chris, we have a lot of information about him. He started well. In fact, Prophet Chris started on a note of a, they wanted to deal with the last programs and the last phases of Prophet TV Joshua's uh, operational. The, my, my, uh, uh, no distance. Distance is not a barrier. The prayer ministry, the online prayer ministry. In fact, Prophet Chris came up with that idea. He set up a very powerful studio. He set up a very good studio. In fact, a lot more. If you go to that episode I did way back, go and scan the episode, the, the, uh, the analysis of the book, The Servant of the Lord. Go there and see. Go scan down there the, uh, and watch, see, read the comments and... Uh, See what we talked about, Prophet Chris, in that one. And uh, you will find out that even Prophet Chris, as we are talking now, sounds to me more that he took a wise way to get a back coach. And it's like he was not part of every problem. But uh, if you check the way he operated, he was like, I've caused enough problem. Let me stay quiet so that people will not find me pants down. <laughs> Let me use that word, pants down. Um, we are reading the comments. We are reading the comments. Uh, God never uses a discouraged servant. She is willing to be used by God. My God continues. May God continue to bless her. That is Stella Ziwani. Stella Ziwani, I think, is a South African. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Atieno, this is a Kenyan. It was such a privilege and great honor. Now, this, this one called the uh, Abigail Moses. Pastor Stephen, even your voice has changed. Hallelujah. It's true. God bless you. <laughs> Abigail. God bless you. Abigail Moses. God bless you. This is the grace that takes us from one place to another. My voice has changed. Now, the reason why my voice you hear is has changed is because I was using a setup of, a different, of different instruments. That's why part of the voice has changed. And now I'm using another set of instruments uh, that you see this microphone. It's not like the previous microphone I used in the previous studio. And this one is now a better amplified version of the other mic. I'm using a sound card, this different sound card now. And uh, even the camera I'm using now is a different one. It's not the one that I used. And uh, I'm, I'm now making this video on a different studio setup definitely and uh we need to thank god for that also and i uh, appreciate mama evelyn for more and more grace and prayer that he was so so mikin putu mikin putu is talking spanish yeah, this is french i suppose mikin putu mikin putu this is like a congolese name and do you saw it low I, I don't quite understand French. I know only bonjour. <laughs> so we can, we can also...
also translate all these things. Now, another comment is, nice to have you back. Thank you, Solace. God bless you so much. People like you are the ones, brothers and sisters like you, are the ones that bring us back because some people contact us on a personal line and uh, we get encouragement and courage to come back. So, all of you, if you want to keep us on air, this is my request and it's a very good request that I need to take from all of you. You go subscribe. Watch the videos, like, comment, then share to your friends. The more views we get, the more capacity to come back. That's more important. And it brings us a, one thing we call the algorithms of how to find a penetration in other platforms in the Google network. It's a very good one. What about that pastor who worked Kenya saying, we do not go to Kasarani because evening, if uh, Mama Evelyn is a devil, yes, this 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 man read the previous episode. This is an episode I I, I did uh, about that, and uh, there was one man called Apostle Fred who was talking about this before the crusade and after the crusade. Went online in his ministry. He talked about it on his altar. And you would be like, oh, some of this. By that time, we had a lot of things like um, uh, apostles. We had a lot of functions in Kenya that crusades, conferences, and uh, revival meetings that were going on from other men of God that prepared before the Squan Crusade came in. And uh, he went on air and tried to convince people not to go there because Squan is a, a cult, of which it was a wrong thing to do. I talked about it and we rebuked such men of God. We don't want division in the body of Christ and we don't want hatred in the body of Christ. And so and uh, uh, so I see uh, Boss Mwangosi talking about the same thing and God bless you, Mr. Mwangosi. This is one thing that we need to really clear in the body of Christ, not just in East Africa, not just in Africa alone, the whole world, the entire globe. We need the love of God. And uh, we see Jebril Tau. Jebril Tau. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. Emmanuel, good morning and win today. Win forever. That's Jebril Tau. Jebril Tau. This is a very general comment. And uh, the reason why I'm reading this general comment is because he is very consistent with our channel. What are you saying? Daisy Langat comes back again in another episode. He say, what you are saying is true. I was privileged to be at the Kasarani Crusade for the two days. I was blessed beyond words, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, the evangelist who served under her a sense in the atmosphere. When mommy arrived at the studio, I was there, even without the cheers from the crowd. You could sense her presence. All glory to God Almighty. He is the only true God. As Isaiah 43 confirms, there is no other God besides him. Thank you, Jesus. Daisy Langat, God bless you. If you really got that episode that I saw, I talked about meeting Mama Evelyn after, after the crusade. I can tell you the place and in the office she was upstairs uh, you get into the office rooms you realize there are things there are things you really see a lot <laughs> there are things you see and you know and uh, uh, you can appreciate god well don't go away i have two more comments to talk about i'm coming back shortly don't go away stay tuned Now, welcome back again. Now, I have one of the two last episodes. And uh, this is Marie for Peace one more time. And see, mommy is a prophet, not a pastor. So I took that correction because we had already in this. And I believe in you, my brother. Thank you so much, Marie. God bless you. I love my sister and mother in faith, Mama Evelyn. That is Mele. 
Mele, I think this is a name from uh, Central Africa. Marie Madiara, you are favored forever. God bless you. God bless you so much. Now, I think this for today. I have one from Pastor Tommy. Peace out. Wow, very interesting. God bless you more and more. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Peace. God bless you. Thank you so much. Now, Emmanuel Fans TV, God bless you. The legacy lives on. You are writing it here. The legacy lives on. Emmanuel Fans TV is one of the fans TV, uh, TV st uh, YouTube channels that have really stood besides uh, Squan during the turmoils. And I believe God has set them. They have a lot of uh, subscribers, a lot of subscribers. So it's not people who came up and started the channel to make money. No, they have a lot deal with. God bless you and God bless you. And I also have my fellow uh, Kenyan man uh, called Amos Kip Korir. Amos Kip Korir, oh my God. That grace mommy Evelyn has it. No question about it. And this is when we're talking about the mantle. We've been talking about mantle. And anytime we talk about mantle, Amos Kip Korir will always come out and say what he knows about the mantle. And I know mantle is not just a joking thing. God bless you so much and all of us who are stationed and who are blessed by this commentary and this vision. Now, I also have, just to close up, I just also close up, how there's one episode I did along, around eight days ago, how Kenyan pastors, oh, Mama Evelyn Joshua, Kenyan Crusade, I also talked about that. I will talk about it again another moment. But I want us to discuss this one in a live episode. So a live episode will be coming, will take like around one hour. This video is taking like 31 minutes now. And uh, I'm coming back with uh, a lot. So there's one comment that takes it, you say, Excel Tech. I don't know who exactly, but Excel Tech, I think this is an address of a company, uh, of a brother or rather sister. Great commentary. Many were healed and prayed for by the, for salvation in the crusade in Kasarani. What more would a Christian ask for of a crusade? The laborers are still few, yet some laborers are fighting for recognition. Other laborers and expect no rebuke from the master. We will rebuke here in this channel. We rebuke people who will want to confuse us. Any other places, let's stand together. Ruth Musioka, Prophet T.B. Joshua was a man of love, humility. He was a Mr. Leave it to the Lord, for giving them all. And Ruth Musioka, thank you, Jesus. God bless you so much, and God bless you so much. Now, finishing it all, crowning it all. Now, Prophet Kakande getting impartation from Prophet T.B. Joshua. That's another episode. The video was talking about it. The impartation is God's way of transporting some of his mysteries, endowments, gifts, graces, etc. to the ones approved by him. The reason why I'm reading this compass is because the statement is so full, complete, in-house. One, impartation of God. Number two, it's a way of transporting some of his mysteries, God's mysteries, and endowments, gifts, grace, and etc. to the one approved of him. So the one noted, the word noted, one approved of him. So let's thank God for all vision. God bless you, my brother, my sister, wherever you are watching me from. May God increase you, love to lead your way. And as you continue, you win over and over every circumstance of your life. May God increase you and may God bless you. I am Timothy Profitable, and this is your favorite channel, Blevoy TV. And we handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters. See you in the next episode.